Well, did Jim make engines? Okay. So performance measures. Okay. So top to bottom, did everybody get that? No. Cody, did you get that? What top to bottom is which one? Activity based management or activity based costing? You said you got it. Sir? Cody? <coughs> Do you not have it? Which is okay, because I was about to repeat it. Do you have it or not have it? You don't have it. Well, that's okay. Brett, Brett, he's got it though. I do. What is it? T uh, top to bottom is what? Costing. Costing? Yes, activity-based costing. So write that down. Top to bottom, activity-based costing. So that means left to right is what, Heidi? Activity-based man activity management. So everybody make sure you got that written down too. Okay. <sighs> Woof. Now. So that's one of two slides that you're going to get to copy down. That's a potential test question, okay? Multiple choice, so it should be relatively easy, but, you know, just checking to see if you're here or not, paying attention. So, and here it's talking about those axes. Left to right is activity-based management. This tells me I gave you the right answer. Uh, to do, to do, to do, to do, to do, to do, cycle time reduction includes, let's see if we can, cycle time reduction on the right includes, let's see if we can help Jim make them faster. Because faster would occupy less of his time, it'd be cheaper, right? And so, and then cost objects top to bottom, here we can decide, here we can determine product cost is traditionally what we think about using it for. Uh, but we can also determine customer profitability analysis. Has anybody here looked at the case yet? What's it about? What business? Banking. banking. And banks can very easily determine how much money they're making off of you. Right? That's one of the, th one of the pieces of the case. They, can deter they know exactly how much money they're making off of you, each and every one of you individually as an individual customer of the bank. And they can treat you better or worse, depending upon if you are making them lots of money or costing them money. Although you folks are kind of a complicated, you folks are complicated for them. As, as college students, very often you're not very wealthy, but you have lots of upside, right? Because you might be wealthy someday, and you might be making lots of, and very likely are making money, going to be making lots of money someday. And so that's why you get lots and lots and lots of, like, credit card applications and stuff in the mail. Do you not? Not anymore, but you know you can. You, that can be that can be a problem. What, Victoria? But I thought I, I thought I saw you talking. You were. But I'm not going to announce this to class. Oh. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. But it's it's more fun when you say stuff that you you feel comfortable talking about with the class. It, you could get a shredder. Yeah, I could, but I don't want to. You should take one of the credit cards and buy a shredder with that. Shred it up and you put the envelope that they have. Oh. Yeah, yeah. oh. <laughs> I did that with a camera and traffic ticket. They sent me the picture and a ticket. So I wrote the check and took a picture of it and sent it back to him. They sent me the ticket again. <laughs> oh, and was it, did it have penalties attached to it? No, it was just, it was just a flat line. Uh, and so, <laughs> I just shred them. I just shred them. And so here we've got, should I ask her as well? Victoria, just to be fair. Christine. Oh, I was You're distracting me. Brandon. Well, and you distracted me. So I did. I did. <laughs> 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 and so here we've got. Here we can consume, we can determine the cost. And we've already talked a little bit about this. Not only products, but customer. You, each and every one of you, is a bank customer or a service. You know, how much does it cost to 
have an ap appendectomy. That's a service. We can determine the cost of that. And so here we've got activity-based management, left to right. And I usually talk about this stuff down at the bottom, efficiency, effectiveness, and utility. We can create performance measures for all three of those things. What is effectiveness, do you think, Aubrey? What's effectiveness? What do you think of as being, uh, oh, excuse me, let's do them in order, efficiency. So Aubrey's going to talk about efficiency. What is efficiency? Yeah, using, using your time better. I would, I, would, I would say, I mean, I would paraphrase what she said. Is, I would say doing the right things, right? Using your time wisely. Doing the right things is kind of how I think about it. So you're just, you're not wasting time. You're not, you know, you're not taking your mind off the task. You are on task working. Doing the right things, okay? What's effectiveness, Mr. Musgrave? How well you do, okay? So doing things right. Can you do things right without doing the right things? Yes, you can. Doing things right. Um, you know, if, if from, in sports terms, efficiency might be about technique, doing things most efficiently, but can you perform well athletically without actually being efficient? Yes. I mean, apparently Tim Tebow did so as a quarterback, right, where he didn't throw very well, but he still won the Heisman Trophy. So, so you know, and was considered fairly effective, but not very efficient with his, his throwing motion. And so, that, so those are distinct notions. Being efficient, you can be effective without being efficient. And they're two kind of, two different sorts of concepts, okay? <coughs> Can we measure efficiency with regard to Jim and him making engines? He nods his head yes. Michael, do you concur? What would be a performance measure, a specific performance measure that we could use to measure the efficiency of Jim making engines? Ah, oh, you can do better than that. You got friends around you that can help you. The, the test run. Shards, test run well, what can we measure on Jim, though? Sure, we're leaving Shar out of this. She doesn't. She doesn't. She. We, we, you know. What, what about? We want to do. We want to see if Jim's doing a good job, if with regards to efficiency. If he makes the number that he's supposed to make in however many labor hours it takes per motor. How many labor hours per motor? That's a very specific measure, isn't it? Very specific measure. How many labor hours per motor? That's a good measure. That's very specific. We can monitor it over time, just like that. Pamela, can you think about what, think of one for effectiveness for Jim? Poor Jim. But it's always the engine that gets picked on. So it just happened to be, mm -hmm. it always happens to be the, the uh, engine manufacturer that we use as an example. How well the quality is going to And how are we going to measure the quality? So the engine runs at the end of the time. That's fairly objective, is it not? Mm -hmm. So what percentage of the engines that Jim makes run like they're supposed to when finished? Very objective, very measurable. We're measuring effectiveness. What is utility? 